Welcome to the state final of the 2020 Queensland Training Awards. The awards highlight the significant contribution vocational education and training makes to communities across Queensland and celebrate training success. We will showcase the remarkable stories of Queensland's best and brightest apprentices, trainees, vocational students and vet teachers and trainers. We also recognise the standout training providers, employers and community-based organisations successfully providing local training and employment opportunities. We begin with our acknowledgement of country, followed by a message from the Honourable Shannon Fentiman MP, Minister for Employment and Small Business and Minister for Training and Skills Development. The Queensland Training Awards acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the countries across Queensland and pay our respects to Elders past and present. We acknowledge that this land was, and continues to be, walked on by Aboriginal peoples and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Always was, always will be. Hello, and isn't this such an exciting time for all of our 86 state finalists? Our finalist stories really do highlight the diversity of Queensland, our communities and our regional economies. They also demonstrate firsthand why it's important that we continue to provide access to high quality skills pathways across a range of industries. We know that skills and training will be crucial in our economic recovery. And because of the great job that all of us have done managing the health response to COVID, we can now focus on our plan to unite and recover for Queensland jobs. And a big part of that plan is investing in training and backing our local businesses. So it's great to be able to celebrate and acknowledge our top training achievers and employers. The Palaszczuk government is proud that through the Queensland Training Awards, we can shine a light on our highest training achievers. Skilling Queensland for the future really is a team effort. It's not just apprentices, trainees and students, but it's our training organisations, trainers, teachers and employers. We also recognise the collaboration, partnerships and community-based initiatives responding to real local needs and delivering real training outcomes for our community. In what has been an extraordinary year, I want to thank everyone, including the more than 700 nominees for supporting our Queensland Training Awards. We appreciate your understanding of the changes we've all had to make to deliver this year's awards. Congratulations to all finalists in the 2020 Queensland Training Awards and the very best of luck. Thank you, Minister Fentiman. We begin the awards with our organisational categories, followed by our individual categories. The seven organisational awards honour Queensland employers, training providers and industry and community-based organisations who have made an exceptional contribution to skills and training. We start with the Premier's Industry Collaboration Award. This award recognises an outstanding collaboration between at least one employer or industry body and a registered training organisation that has provided exemplary skills development. The finalists are Central Highlands Vet Network, Drones in Schools Project, TAFE Queensland and Ryan Metal, Defence Australia Collaboration, ISO 9606 Fusion Welding Program, Mackay Regional Council, Regional Water Industry Worker Pilot Program. The winner of the 2020 Premier's Industry Collaboration Award is TAFE Queensland and Ryan Metal, Defence Australia Collaboration, ISO 9606 Fusion Welding Program. The ISO 9606 Fusion Welding Program is fulfilling a vital role to support the building of Australia's newest combat vehicles in Queensland. Helping to maximise local employment and business opportunities, the program provides high-level, international standard welding training to local workers. The partnership between TAFE Queensland and Rhine Metal Defence Australia has built a pathway for experienced welders to master advanced welding techniques using augmented reality welding simulators purchased with support from Weld Australia and the Queensland Government 
as well as through skills exchanges between Germany and Australia. TAFE Queensland has developed the capability of its staff and delivered more than 20 short courses to more than 100 welders so far across campuses in the state, including Cairns and Townsville. Small Employer of the Year This award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a Queensland business with 19 or fewer full-time staff. The finalists are Bama Cape York Services, Cairns RHD Classic Supplies and Services, Townsville Jody's Salon, Emerald Hair Review, Gimpy The Hairport, Yamanto, Ipswich Kent Saddlery, Stanthorpe Tom and Anne's, Yarrabilma The winner of the 2020 Small Employer of the Year is Kent Saddlery Kent Saddlery was established in 1988 by Lyle and Helen Kent. In what started as a one-man show with Lyle Kent making every saddle, Kent Saddlery is now a large-scale operation employing 14 staff and producing quality, locally made leather products. Kent Saddlery's commitment to training is evident in their contribution over recent years to help write and validate assessments for the Certificate 3 in leather production. In 2019, leather production was reinstated as a Queensland apprenticeship, allowing Kent Saddlery and other saddlers to employ and train apprentices. The Medium Employer of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a Queensland business with between 20 and 199 full-time staff. The finalists are Novotel Cairns Oasis Resort Selectability Limited, Townsville NFR Holdings Proprietary Limited Three McDonald's Restaurants in Mackay Northern Beaches, East Mackay and Canelands Kirami Residential Aged Care, Harvey Bay Hilton Brisbane HBK Holdings Proprietary Limited McDonald's Dolby and Chinchilla Goldmac Proprietary Limited Operating eight McDonald's restaurants on the Gold Coast the winner of the 2020 Medium Employer of the Year is Selectability Limited. Selectability is a not-for-profit mental wellbeing services provider operating in a range of regional communities with a focus on North Queensland. With its training arm, Selectability Training, the business designs training programs for its staff to support their professional development and careers and manage workplace risks. Carrying out an organisational skills matrix has helped the business understand its current and future workforce needs as demand for its services increases due to COVID-19. Its online learning management system also supports training delivery through its regional offices and the development of its diverse workforce. Large Employer of the Year this award recognises outstanding achievement in the area of vocational education and training by a Queensland business with 200 or more full-time staff. The finalists are Community Enterprise Queensland, Cairns Glencore Queensland Metals, Mount Isa Mastermind, Mackay Fraser Coast Regional Council Hastings Deering Australia Limited, Brisbane Toowoomba Regional Council Frizzell Sunshine Automotive, Southport. The winner of the 2020 Large Employer of the Year is Hastings Deering Australia Limited. In 2020, Hastings Deering are leveraging the strength of their training culture to help navigate the impacts of COVID-19. 5% of its total workforce is comprised of apprentices employed in diesel fitting, auto electrical and fabrication roles. The value of their apprenticeship program is clearly demonstrated with 75 first-year apprentices this year, with an increased focus on female, indigenous and mature age participants. Hastings have been offering 96% of fourth-year apprentices ongoing roles in the last year. Supplementing this apprenticeship program is an extensive training offering across 14 nationally accredited training packages for staff to further their professional development. The Community Training Initiative of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by a community-based, not-for-profit organisation 
that provides assistance to Queenslanders who need support to gain the skills, experience and vocational education and training qualifications required to enter and stay in the workforce. The finalists are National Joblink Cairns Program Dreaming Big 2019 Seed Foundation Australia Townsville Program First People's Health Program Multicultural Australia Rockhampton Program Tucker Time IFYS Limited Maroochydore Program Youth Transition Services Babby Youth and Family Service Wynnum Program Get Set for Work Dolby Welcoming Community Incorporated Program Connecting to Work through Dolby's Delicious and Delightful Festival Kids Foods Rabina Program Food to Live The winner of the 2020 Community Training Initiative of the Year is IFYS Limited IFYS was established as a youth shelter in 1980 and employs approximately 400 staff and a further 300 volunteer foster carers. IFYS delivers more than 30 programs across Queensland, including the North Coast, supporting vulnerable and disadvantaged children, young people, families and people with disability. Through their youth transition services, IFYS supports young people who are at risk of disengaging or disengaged from education, family or community. With seven different program areas, the primary focus is to provide support and advocacy to young people while helping them remain or re-engage in education, access training opportunities and gain skills and confidence to obtain employment. Small Training Provider of the Year This award recognises outstanding contribution to the delivery of VET in Queensland by a registered training organisation delivering fewer than 50 qualifications. The finalists are Ostcare Training Fast Track Training Australia St James College, Brisbane The winner of the 2020 Small Training Provider of the Year is Ostcare Training Delivering community services training, Ostcare Training aims to prepare students to excel in the workplace. To support manual handling training, students can use a range of additional tools, including specially made suits to allow students to practice moving and supporting aged care residents before working with the elderly. Ostcare Training are focused on developing regional markets to help meet the sector's growing need for trained and job-ready workers across aged care, disability services and the wider sector. Staff support students through all aspects of the training process and the organisation works with staff and employers to understand and respond to industry expectations. Large Training Provider of the Year This award is presented for outstanding contribution to the delivery of VET in Queensland by a registered training organisation delivering 50 or more qualifications. The finalists are Asset College CQ University Australia TAFE Queensland. The winner of the 2020 Large Training Provider of the Year is Asset College. Offering a range of qualifications, skill sets and courses, Asset College is committed to supporting students and employers to reach their goals. Asset College has a commitment to its students, current and past, to help improve their general employability skills and to provide opportunities for graduates to refresh or update their skills. Asset College is proud of its work with Soldier On, a service supporting ex-Australian Defence Force members to thrive post-life in the armed forces. Working with Soldier On, Asset College is helping to train and support veterans for new civilian careers. Asset College also works with different communities in Queensland to use training pathways to achieve community goals. This is highlighted by its recent security training program in Sherberg. Asset College is also responding to emerging industry training needs in a range of security fields, including cyber security and transport security. It's time to celebrate our seven individual award categories. VET Teacher or Trainer of the Year. This award recognises the outstanding achievement by a VET teacher or trainer providing nationally recognised training to students at a registered training organisation or in partnership with a registered training organisation. The finalists are 
Sue Edwards, TAFE Queensland, Cairns Campus. Biani Olin, Heatley Secondary College, Townsville. Hardy Mansa, The Rockhampton Grammar School. Michelle Clements, Ostcare Training, Harvey Bay. Louise Pope, St James College, Brisbane. Robin Kavanagh, Aurora Training Institute, Toowoomba. Colin Thompson, Building Industry Training, Molendina. The winner of the 2020 VEC Teacher or Trainer of the Year is Michelle Clements. Michelle Clements is a dedicated trainer who began her career as a graphic artist before transitioning to her rewarding career in healthcare. Michelle was inspired by her father who experienced early onset Alzheimer's disease and wanted to extend her love and care to vulnerable people. Michelle found her true calling teaching with Ostcare Training and takes great pride in being able to inspire people to care for others with empathy. Devising innovative training methods to provide interactive learning experiences, Michelle prides herself in helping all students to succeed, reach their goals and gain employment. The Equity Vet Student of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by an individual in overcoming a significant barrier or disadvantage to effectively participate in VET. The finalists are Ricky Bruce, Certificate 3 in Individual Support Training Provider, MyHaven in partnership with Maraway Training Employer, Kewara Aged Care Maxine Worrell, Certificate 3 in Community Services Training Provider, TAFE Queensland Helena Kidd, Qualification, Certificate 3 in Business. Training Provider, CQ University Australia. Delaney Simpson, Certificate 3 in Business. School, Chancellor State College. Training Provider, Look Now Training. Employer, Wealth 21. Axel Dushime, Certificate 2 in Health Support Services. School, St James College, Brisbane. Training Provider, Marta Education. Mark Thomas, Certificate 3 in Community Services. Training Provider, Cedar Centre. Alex Lees, Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Employer, Von Bibra Auto Village. The winner of the 2020 Equity Vet Student of the Year is Helena Kidd. Studious, determined, role model, achiever and a can-do attitude are just a few of the terms that have been used to describe Helena. Taking the road less travelled, Helena commenced her learning journey seven years ago. As a non-verbal young lady with cerebral palsy, she redefined the traditional teacher and student roles. She has imparted her own way of learning, knowledge and experience upon her teachers while forging some wonderful relationships and lifelong friends. Since completing her Certificate 3 in Business in 2019, Helena has more confidence and willpower to continue to strive to utilise her learned skills to gain employment within medical administration. School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year The School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year Award recognises the achievements of students who undertake a school-based apprenticeship or traineeship as part of their school studies. The finalists are Bryce Cummings, Atherton State High School, Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology Electrician, Group Training Organisation, Skill360 Australia, Host Employer, Jason Cummings Electrical, Training Provider, Tech NQ, Elizabeth Matters, St Margaret Mary's College, Certificate 3 in Carpentry, Employer, OSCO Modular, Training Provider, TAFE Queensland, Sophie James, Marist College, Emerald, Certificate 3 in Business, Group Training Organisation, M-Rail Group, Host Employer, Central Highlands Regional Council, Training Provider, Australian Trade Training College, Delaney Simpson, Chancellor State College, Certificate 3 in Business, Employer, Wealth 21, Training Provider, Look Now Training, Jennifer Myers, North Lakes State College, Certificate 3 in Allied Health Assistance, Group Training Organisation, Australian Training Company, Host Employer, Metro North Hospital and Health Service, Redcliffe Hospital, Training Provider, DivTech Training and Further Education, Jack Mailman, 
Oki State High School. Certificate 3 in Automotive Mechanical, Heavy Vehicle Road Transport. Employer, Martin Stock Haulage. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Jaden Ballinger, Aviation High. Certificate 3 in Business. Group Training Organisation, Maxima Group Training. Host Employer, Qantas Airways. Training Provider, Australian College of Commerce and Management. The winner of the 2020 School-Based Apprentice or Trainee of the Year is Jennifer Myers. Jennifer feels fortunate to undertake a school-based traineeship at the Redcliffe Hospital as an Allied Health Assistant. It has opened her eyes to the diversity of the Allied Health field and working in the hospital environment. She thoroughly enjoys learning new skills and has been exposed to five different Allied Health professions. She says her traineeship has enhanced her ability to organise prioritise, problem solve and communicate effectively with individuals of all ages. The Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year Award recognises the outstanding achievement by an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander student within the Queensland Vets sector. The finalists are Lymon Mudd Certificate 3 in Sport and Recreation Training Provider, TAFE Queensland Obadiah Gaia, Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology Electrician. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Employer, Jason Healy Electrical. Shania Evans, Certificate 4 in Work, Health and Safety. Training Provider, CQ University Australia. Employer, Rockhampton Regional Council. Taylor Leeson, Certificate 3 in Business. Training Provider, Look Now Training. Employer, Five Bridges. Jabin Giblet, Certificate 3 in Barbering. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Employer, The Hairport Yamanto. Shauna Fisher, Certificate 3 in Education Support. St John's Catholic School, Roma. Training Provider, Cedar Centre. Employer, Diocese of Toowoomba Catholic Schools. Emily Bevan, Beanley State High School. Certificate 3 in Allied Health Assistance. Training Provider, Marta Health. Group Training Organisation, Osmac Apprenticeships. Host Employer, Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. The winner of the 2020 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student of the Year is Jabin Giblet. Jabin is a proud Aboriginal South Sea Islander with his grandfather from the Yiganyi people around Mariba and grandmother from the South Sea Islands. Jabin grew up in Mackay and participated in Aboriginal dancing, performing for cultural events and schools. He always had an interest in barbering and was initially self-taught. He was elated when the Hairport Yamanto took him on as their first barbering apprentice. Jabin is now head barber and mentors colleagues in both techniques and theoretical aspects of the job. He also works with disadvantaged youth, sharing how barbering changed his path in life. Suicide prevention is also important to Jabin, as he advocates for training to give barbers the skills to have conversations with clients, look for warning signs and recommend the right service providers to help. Vocational Student of the Year The Vocational Student of the Year Award is for outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed a VET qualification in Queensland. The finalists are Brittany Cromey, Certificate 4 in Leadership and Management. Training Provider, Leadership Management Australia. Employer, Cairns Regional Council. Nairi Trigg, Diploma of Community Development. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Employer, St Benedict's Catholic School. Tanya Paulson, Qualification, Certificate 4 in Education Support. Training Provider, Fast Track Training Australia. Employer, Anarchy State School. Morgan Engstrom, Certificate 4 in Medical Practice Assisting. Training Provider, UNE Partnerships. Employer, Brangin Clinic. Christopher Miller, Diploma of Nursing. Training Provider, Martyr Education. Olivia Banj, Diploma of Agribusiness Management. Training Provider, UQ Skills. Juan Corridor, Diploma of Environmental Management. Training Provider, Absorb Training. Employer, Darwalla Group. The winner of the 2020 Vocational Student of the Year is Nairi Trigg. Mother of two Nairi Trigg 
switched her life's focus to tap into her passions for networking and supporting the natural environment. Thanks to studying a Diploma of Community Development, Nairi has now found her dream job working as an environmental support officer with St. Benedict's Catholic School in Townsville. Nairi collaborates with teachers, other school staff and community leaders to develop activities that support students' understanding of the outdoors, such as creating a native plant and bush tucker trail with support from local Aboriginal elders. The Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year Award recognises the outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed a traineeship in Queensland. This award honours the late Bob Marshman, a former Director General of the Department of Employment and Training, who was recognised as one of the foremost authorities on vocational education and training in Australia. The finalists are Craig Trenberth, Diploma of Aero Skills Mechanical, Employer Hawker Pacific Cairns, Training Provider Aviation Australia, Nicola Caldwell, Certificate 3 in Work Health and Safety, Employer Townsville City Council, Training Provider Total Management Training, Esther Olney, Certificate 3 in Local Government, Regulatory Services, Employer Isaac Regional Council, Training Provider Learning, Knowing, Achieving, Brianna Cassidy, Certificate 3 in Business, Employer Zip Print Australia, Training Provider Australian College of Commerce and Management, Dana Drysdale, Certificate 3 in Business Administration, Employer VM Family Law, Training Provider Skills at Top, Abby Kirby, Certificate 3 in Business, Employer Toowoomba Regional Council, Training Provider DGT Employment and Training, Shannon McNamara, Certificate 3 in Water Industry Operations, Employer SEQ Water, Training Provider Water Training Australia. The winner of the 2020 Bob Marshman Trainee of the Year is Brianna Cassidy. Brianna quickly realised the benefits of her traineeship and how it could kickstart her career. Completing a nationally recognised qualification was an important goal as she did not achieve a high school certificate. With an interest in graphic design and business, she commenced a traineeship and completed a Certificate 3 in business. Her self-confidence and ability grew with each completed competency. As a valued team member, she is able to solve complex problems in a fast-paced and demanding workplace. She is continuing her learning journey with her employer and has now commenced an apprenticeship in Graphic Pre-Press. The prestigious Harry Horns Child Apprentice of the Year Award recognises outstanding achievement by a student who recently completed an apprenticeship in Queensland. This award is named after the late Harry Horns Child, who was Commissioner for Training in Queensland from 1990 to 2000. Harry was an icon of trade training and was a tireless advocate for vocational education and training in Queensland. The finalists are Cameron Bascacci, Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology Electrician and Certificate 3 in Instrumentation and Control. Employer, Electropica. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Obadiah Gaia, Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology Electrician. Employer, Jason Healy Electrical. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Riley Stewart, Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade. Employer and Training Provider, Hastings Deering, Australia. Braden Helmuth, Certificate 3 in Engineering, Mechanical Trade. Employer, Greensill & Co. Training Provider, Axial Training. Jabin Giblet, Certificate 3 in Barbering. Employer, The Hairport Yamanto. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Lachlan Miners, Certificate 3 in Engineering, Fabrication Trade, Boilermaking Welding. Employer, Lockyer Engineering PTY LTD. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. Alex Lees, Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. Employer, Von Bibra Auto Village. Training Provider, TAFE Queensland. The winner of the 2020 Harry Horns Child Apprentice of the Year is Braden Helmuth. Having developed an interest in agriculture as a 14-year-old picking for Greensill and company during his school holidays, Braden was drawn back to his love of agriculture after completing science studies at university. To further his career opportunities, 
Braden made the decision to undertake a diesel mechanic apprenticeship to increase his knowledge of mechanics and hydraulics and gain workshop skills. His apprenticeship has equipped him with practical skills and knowledge to secure the role of engineering and IT manager. Braden was Green Seal and Company's first apprentice and has been hands-on in setting up a framework to support future apprentices. Greensill currently have five apprentices following Braden's path. With significant changes occurring in the agriculture industry due to engineering technology and automation, Braden is excited about the future and knows that he will need to continually learn to tackle increasingly complex engineering projects. He is committed to further developing his skills through vocational education and training, with a view to enrolling in a Certificate 4 in Engineering to become a Special Class Engineering Tradesperson as a stepping stone to a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Well, how fantastic is the story of Braden Helmuth, our 2020 Harry Hornschild Apprentice of the Year. This just shows how training really can make such a difference in someone's life. His story is only one of the more than 700 inspiring training journeys shared with us through the 2020 Queensland Training Awards. I would like to acknowledge all of our finalists. Being recognised in your region as a Queensland Training Awards winner is an achievement to be proud of. To all of our winners, a big congratulations. Enjoy and don't forget to celebrate. The experience of past finalists and winners shows that the Queensland Training Awards is a stepping stone to bigger and better things. I have my fingers crossed for all of our state winners now progressing to the Australian Training Awards. I have no doubt you and your training achievements will stand you in good stead on the national stage. Thank you again to everyone who has participated in the 2020 Queensland Training Awards. We look forward to 2021 and celebrating 60 years of the Queensland Training Awards. See you then. This closes the state final of the 2020 Queensland Training Awards. Thank you for joining us.